All right, I'm going to work on making some, um, I don't know what I'm making, shingles. And I'm going to use this air dry clay, which I like a lot. And I'm going to try to do this so you can see. I don't know if that's going to help any. I'm going to run it through my little, um, um, oh, smushy thing. And then I'm going to cut it. And we will use it to make this clay doesn't necessarily like to go through here when it first starts, but it will. There we go. It's got a hard spot in it. I don't think it's gonna go. Got a little dry end on here. Make it the right thickness. So, what I do is I'm going to make, all I do is just line it. This is an old Cricut cake thing that Cricut doesn't do cake anymore, but so I like them to be. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I'm trying the size I like them to be in order to do it. I like them to be one inch. Well, actually, don't have to be one inch. Just I like them the width of this ruler. Let me get a knife out of here. Back to the width. And I didn't. I don't want to block the uh, thing. Anyway. So I'll do this and just cut, cut myself some strips, basically. This is for the ceiling tile, I mean the roof tiles. Well, that'll be good for right now. And then what I'll do is I'm going to make them to be a half inch, about a half inch wide, half an inch wide. So I just go cut a bunch. You kind of get the idea. And it doesn't really matter. They can be wider or thinner or shorter or whatever. I just kind of try to keep them consistent so at least they're about the same size. But it really doesn't matter because I want it to be kind of, you know, organic-y, homemade looking anyway. Because, you know, our little chipmunks, they'd have a tough time making these. So what I'm going to do is, look, and I'm going crooked anyway, craziness. Um, I'll continue cutting these, and if you see, they're just a little, they're just this little piece right there. And I'm going to rearrange stuff so you can get this, I can get the, uh, uh, no, the tree down so you can see me place them on this uh, top and see how that's going to work out.
Okay, I'm going to continue on to paint. The other top is not dry yet. Um, what I'll do is when I get to the, when it dries and I get my two coats on of those two colors, um, I'll finish painting it up and do some antiquing and what have you. And then, but I'm going to end this here because this video is going to be huge. And then I will come back when I start applying the moss. All right, thanks a lot. See you later.